Gran Turismo 7 versus Gran Turismo Sport? Spot the difference. Hey people, welcome back to Tuber Gaming. Few racing games have been able to surpass the Gran Turismo series. The third and fourth installments are still considered the prime time of Gran Turismo. Now that Gran Turismo 7 has been announced, it would be a good time to compare its details with that of Gran Turismo Sport. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Alright, now let's begin. Graphics Comparison Main Screen and Overall Appearance Gran Turismo Sport was released in 2017 for the PlayStation 4. Since then, the franchise has been waiting for the right moment to release their next title in the timeline. Gran Turismo 7 was announced fairly recently, and the community has to wait until 2022 to get it. The franchise has been thriving on GT Sport for four years now, so there are high expectations from the developers for GT7. So far, nothing much has been announced about the game, except a small gameplay video of the current game featuring two cars and three tracks. These features are quite similar to the current installment running the franchise, and comparisons poured in soon after the gameplay was released on social media. Anybody can observe the difference between the two games. As there is a gap of five years between the two games, everybody would expect Polyphony to go the extra mile for GT7. It offers a brighter view of the entire game, including its menus, customization options, car details, and tracks. GT Sport has a more robust look of the cars with very little glint to them. GT7 provides a completely different shine to the cars, providing racing fans an extra glamour look to their passion. Reduced Speed For graphics, every angle needs careful examination. These days, a game's success is determined by the level of its attention to detail. Games running on the latest and most efficient engines require high power and performance, but the results that they deliver are absolutely mind-blowing. Therefore, experts compare the difference of graphics between two games at a slower speed. It helps in determining the level of optimization of the game and experience the virtual effects of everything happening in the virtual world more carefully. For such purposes, the speed of the gameplay may be reduced. Most comparisons take place at 75% and even 50%. It also gives the slowed gameplay and video more frames to utilize in a single second, so every aspect becomes clearer and smoother. Even though many differences were visible from a normal speed and perspective, a reduced speed gave confirmation about the noticeable changes. When the gameplay was slowed down to 75%, there wasn't much difference noted between the two games. Simple differences in the colors of the games were noticeable. At a glance, GT7 is a bit warmer than GT Sport and provides a much more realistic touch than the former because of its color warmth and saturation. At 50% speed, there were fairly major changes in many aspects of the game. The cockpit was a bit darker in GT Sport, to which developers gave proper attention. In Gran Turismo 7, the car's cockpit looks brighter. One minor detail that developers ignored in GT7 are the rev lights. GT Sport offers a brighter spark to these lights than Gran Turismo 7. The glow comes slowly to the front in GT Sport, but GT7 doesn't have that feature in the gameplay yet. The difference of cockpit lit up by the sunlight is slightly changed, but the color saturation between the two games provides a better conclusion for GT7. Reflections of the outside world are more detailed, and the shadow detail on other cars is excellent in GT7. It seems as if everything is receiving an improvement in the upcoming title. Even the brake lights of other cars in Gran Turismo 7 are more well-lit than GT Sport. 30% Speed For even better comparisons, 30% video speed may be considered, giving the developers a better insight into the tiniest details of the game. These comparisons can make a huge impact on the overall success of the titles, as it means better attention to detail is possible. Reflections are more observable at 40% speed, GT Sport provides a shinier look to the cars, imparting a sharper reflection from the car's body. However, GT7's cars have more attention towards shadows than sunlight, so there is very little reflection to observe in the upcoming title. 
GT Sport also allows a prominent glint in the back view mirror inside the cockpit. GT7 doesn't show any signs of glint. While there could be arguments about the positioning of the mirror or the sun in GT7, it doesn't fail to impose that shadows could be more prominent. At an even lower speed of 30%, the only aspect worth noting is the progression of the glow from the rev lights. Reflections from the sunlight are also brighter in Gran Turismo 7. Apart from that, nothing else feels different between the two games. The most important thing to remember is that the gameplay video is merely a preview of what's to come in GT7. There could be vast changes that could decide the fate of the game, but in the current gameplay, GT7 looks better than GT Sport in lots of ways. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, do so. It's never too late. Give it a thumbs up, people. We will soon see you in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.